Hey everybody, welcome back. I am Caitlin, I'm a brand ambassador here at Instant Natural. For those of you who have not watched before or are not familiar with me, welcome. Um, today we are gonna be going through the rest of our list that we started last week. So we've started a little series um, called Going Green with your skincare routine. And that's essentially just giving you a couple of ingredients that we really recommend to maybe start cleaning out of your routine. Um, just because maybe they're not the healthiest or maybe they're known irritants or things like that or really that there are better more natural options out there for you So today we're just going to finish talking about the last two ingredients on that list And then we're also going to give you some suggestions on replacements also So let's just recap from last week um, Last week we did talk about three different things. We talked about um, sulfates, we talked about parabens, and we talked about alcohols so definitely go back and I believe we have that posted on our Facebook, is that right? Our Facebook post, do we have that on our Facebook from last week? Or three? If not, we will get that uploaded for you guys so that you can see the other, um, the other three that we went through last week. All right, so let's get started. Now, the two we're gonna go through today are gonna be fragrance and mineral oil. Now, fragrance is one of those things that doesn't really necessarily sound dangerous, doesn't sound that scary, um, but really fragrance is a trade secret, which means companies can hide ingredients in that umbrella when they say fragrance. Now that typically fragrance is, they're going to include um, ingredients that are gonna be irritating. Um, sometimes people, it can trigger allergies, um, also sometimes hormone disruption. So those are all things we kinda wanna stick away from. Um, Fragrance is definitely the number one irritant in products. So if there's one ingredient you really want to stay away from, I would personally say fragrance is probably number one on that list. Um, another thing that people don't know fall, fall, falls underneath the fragrance umbrella is phthalates. Um, yes, Momo Chambers, me too. I'm actually really, really sensitive to um, fragrance. That's usually if, if something has a lot of fragrance in it, my skin tells me like immediately. Um, one product, that's hard. If I had to pick one product, I would probably pick either, I'm gonna say two because I, I have to cheat, I'm sorry. And that's either a, our glycolic peel or a product I'm gonna talk about in a second and that is our Complete Organics um, Argan Rosehip Therapeutic Serum because it is amazing but that's like picking favorite children that's hard okay so let's go back to um, fragrance for a second I'd like to know too what is your guys's favorite product since you had to make me choose one what's your favorite I'll wait in the process I will also talk about what we just said with phthalates now those fall under the umbrella of fragrance like I said um, and they are hidden so it's not necessarily going to be listed on the ingredient list and say phthalates it's usually going to be under the term fragrance um, and those sometimes can be endocrine disruptors so that is something again we want to stick clear of we want to kind of um, we don't really want those in our in our products just because of the potential harm that they could have um, so let's talk about substitutes. Now, instead of using products with fragrance, essential oils are a really great alternative. Now, essential oils are gonna be fantastic because not only do they provide the actual like smell um, to your product, but they also have a lot of great um, therapeutic benefits as well. Yes, vitamin C serum is top notch. Love that one. So. Something that I would recommend to replace something with your fragrance, if you have products that do have that in there, um, are Computer Organics, as I said before, Argan Rosehip Therapeutic Serum. This is incredible. This has really beautiful essential oils in there. You've got your lavender, you've got um, frankincense, and you also have patchouli. So not only does it smell amazing, like smells so good, um, I'm not gonna lie, I actually put this like all over my body because it smells so good. Not only are you getting um, that great fragrance from it, that smell, but you're also getting the therapeutic benefits. So, you know, you've got that soothing quality from lavender. Um, oh, thank you so much. That serum, I'm telling you. Um, the lavender is really gonna soothe and calm the skin. You have uh, frankincense, which really brightens, and that patchouli, which is really gonna help to soften and prevent fine lines and wrinkles. 
Oh, thank you. I always forget it's there. It's in a weird spot. So sometimes I just kind of forget that I've got that little guy there. <sighs> yes, I highly recommend. If you have not tried any of the therapeutic serums or any of the Complete Organics yet, you are seriously missing out. Um, okay, so that's a little bit more about fragrance. So then let's move on to mineral oil. Now, I know we have talked, like I said, today about these two, and we talked previously about three other ingredients. And I'm definitely not telling you guys to go out and replace your entire routine. That's extremely difficult, um, and a lot of people can't afford that. I completely understand. So I definitely recommend doing just a little bit by a little. So as you are running out of specific products, replace them with a cleaner alternative. That's really the easiest way to kind of integrate this into your lifestyle. Oh, that makes me so happy to hear, Hannah. Complete Organics has changed my life too. I'm absolutely obsessed with that line. I love essential oils and I love the fact that they're integrated into our skincare products. Um, again, not just for the smell, but for their actual therapeutic benefits. It's so amazing. Um, seriously, a game changer. Also, do you guys, question for you, do you guys use any essential oils at home? I do. We have a diffuser and I happen to put essential oils in that puppy daily and it is like one of my absolute favorite things in the whole world. Um, let's see, question, best product for acne? Um, that is a hard one because it depends. Depends kind of like what your skin is like. If it is maybe dry, oily, uh, we would be more than happy to give you a customized consultation. Um, I highly recommend go ahead and email us at cs at instanatural.com and we will take care of that. You can give us a little bit more information about your skin and we can recommend some products for you. Okay. All right. So let's move on to mineral oil. Now, mineral oil is one of those that's in a lot of products, but not a lot of people really know what it is or where it comes from. Now, it's colorless, it's odorless, um, it is a byproduct from distilling petroleum, so I'm going to let that sink in for a second. Um, that really means it's, essentially, it's, it's just still doing the same process as gasoline. So it comes in all different grades. So that means it can be, you can have one grade included into skincare and then you can have another grade that's used for lubricating engines. So, hmm, slightly questionable, not my favorite ingredient. I would personally recommend to steer clear of that one. Um, because of that too, there really are no nutritional benefits to mineral oil. Um, it's also not going to hydrate or moisturize the skin. It's really just gonna leave a layer on top of the skin, which sometimes can clog pores or, um, or kind of make sure that you get blackheads, which that doesn't sound like a lot of fun. I mean, we have a lot of products that help to get rid of them, so I really wouldn't use a product that's gonna help you to produce blackheads. Um, so something that you can switch to. Now a lot of times people use mineral oil for the sake of they think it's going to moisturize the skin. Um, I would like to recommend our Complete Organics Avocado Oil. This is not only going to be super moisturizing on the skin, but it also really helps with any irritation and redness. Um, Daniela, yes, I love lavender oil, honestly, especially before I'm going to bed. That's why I love that Argan Rosehip Therapeutic Serum. It, I feel like it's perfect for right before I go to sleep. That smell is delicious. Um, so for the avocado oil, like I said, you're getting that moisturizing quality. You're also getting the fact that it really helps to reduce redness, irritation. Um, it's really high in vitamins and fatty acids, which is fantastic for really helping to boost your collagen production as well as to help with your skin's elasticity. So that's a really great option instead of mineral oil is to use our avocado oil. Do you guys have any favorite beauty oils or anything that you like to use daily in your routine? I know I'm definitely an oil junkie. I love to incorporate oils whenever I can. I'm sure you guys have seen a couple of the other videos that I've done where, you know, I talk about applying oils to my hair, my nails, my face, my body, pretty much everywhere because I just love oils. I think that they're very underrated and a lot of people are scared of them and they are nothing to be scared of. So let's go ahead and wrap up. Um, I hope you guys got some good little tidbits of information on um, kind of the hidden dangers of fragrance as well as mineral oils. 
Um, and definitely make sure that you guys subscribe so that you, um, or follow us, not subscribe. What am I talking about? Make sure that you, um, follow us so that you guys are notified when we go live, when we have giveaways and we have all kinds of fun stuff going on for you guys. Um, so thank you for joining us. And if you guys have any questions or anything, like I said before, please feel free to email us at cs at instanatural.com and we will be more than happy to answer those questions for you guys. So I will see you later and have a good one guys.